big game and maybe he's getting a little bit tired from how many times he's carried the ball but I always think back to what all those old coaches say the ball's not that heavy keep carrying it kid they come up in an offset eye throwing Prescott he completes it to Brian and it was a stiff arm there that freed him enough to get the first before he's tackled I give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trick in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find them in this type of a situation. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. I don't want Dow to run, but that's exactly what I expected out of him coming out of college. When I look back at my draft analysis, one of the highest rated players on my board, a three down back who can do everything. And one of the best parts of his game is what he does when he doesn't have the football because he carries it really well, but he walks equally as well, as well as pass protects for his quarterback. I think he's going to be special. And finding room to work, he's down to the two yard line. Possible run anticipation here as the D line sandwiches together. Now Elliott fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. All I can say about this play is that someone's living right. I mean, he's trying to gain yardage, trying to get upfield. Ball comes free. What's that panic that we've talked about oftentimes that you feel when you yeah, lose the ball? You can sense it. Oh, you can sense it. And somehow he got to it and was able to recover it for his squad. And yeah, they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. Third and inches, just turn around, hand it to the big guy, and let him plow forward and pick up a first down. A lot of people think that the offensive line, they may almost take the play off because they got a big guy back there pushing forward. I think it actually works in reverse. I think they block harder because they love seeing that guy get the ball because he doesn't touch it very often. They come out here in the eye. They'll pitch it out to Elliott. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott with his second touchdown here first half and the Cowboys will add on to their lead and it's good to make it 14 nothing Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown that'll be taken in the end zone and he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Try to lay one up deep. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. Second and 10 now, Wilson. Complete, Richardson has it. And he's brought down after a good game. A very solid gain of 27. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Here's Wilson. He hits Baldwin right side. And he's brought down. 
Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. They'll give him eight on the play, and it's a second down. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. To throw is Wilson. Oh, the rookie nearly had the pick. Probably should have had it. Third down now. He's got to be kicking himself right there. His team's already picked off two passes. That would have been the third in the game. And boy, they've really played well attacking the football. So incomplete on second down. Now they'll look to convert here on third. Third and two. Now Wilson. He finds his man, Baldwin. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, one tight end. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. This will be caught at about the three. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. And that extra yardage makes this upcoming field goal attempt much more manageable. Agreed, because when you talk to defensive coordinators, they always tell us the 35-yard line on our side of the field, that's the line we guard the most aggressively, because once they get there, they believe they're in field goal range. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. Final play of the half, it's Wilson. And Wilson's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off here by Anthony Hitchens. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. And out now come the Seahawks. And three interceptions in this game, and I would have to think, I wasn't a quarterback, but number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, man, I can't throw four. No, what's interesting is, what do the coaches decide to do now? Having thrown three, do you alter your offense? And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Morris Claiborne. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. Do you think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. Defense in a good spot. Let's see how the offense responds with a second and 13 now. A second down throw for Prescott. And he hits Jason Witten, the tight end. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner route, being able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop it? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him, a bigger body guy who can handle him physically. But a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route. They'll run with Elliott. No gain on the play there. Second down. But it was stopped on that play. We've had plenty of carries all afternoon. Every now and then, the defense is going to win one, but I don't think they'll shy away from handing it to them the rest of the game. Let's go! Let's go! They come up in an offset eye. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy, and he is going to lose yardage here. He lost two there, and it's third down. Well, Brandon, he's had a great day, and sometimes that just happens. It is the NFL. They will make some plays against you. 
Wonder what's in the offensive playbook on third and 13. We're about to find out. Third and long for Prescott. He completes it to Bryant. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. They go to Elliott again. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. Another good run there, and now we're seeing an offense that's imposed its will on a defense. When we talk about that all the time, what does it really mean? It means that the guys on the offensive line, they feel like they can do whatever they want. They're in the huddle saying, run it again. Give us another chance to smack someone. In Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. <laughs> Or call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill, but the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. They'll try to throw now. Prescott going right side. He has Winton. A big gain there after going backwards, and that'll lead to a third down. And the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes, so difficult to cover. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. And the back goes into motion. Defense really showing respect to the deep ball here, playing off the receivers. Time running out here on the play clock. Now Prescott. He's got time in the pocket. And this is going to be incomplete. He was looking for Terrence Williams that time. And it's fourth down. Well, sometimes you just have to take things into your own hands, don't you? I mean, the offense is really struggling in this game. They're the ones keeping things going. They have to continue to play at that level. The Cowboys will turn it over now to Dan Bailey for the field goal try. From the right hash, it's a 41-yard attempt. And Bailey able to knock it through. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. So put another three on the board. And all things considered, a good opening drive here to begin the third quarter. It sure was. I think as a head coach, you're happy to come out and put a little drive together, take the three points, and build on your lead. Now after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five yards with a new rule as he's taken down right at the 20-yard line. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Again on second and ten, it's Wilson surveying the field. And it's complete. Thomas Rawls. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. Back now in Arlington. It's the Seahawks with possession of the football, but they do trail here to begin quarter number four. So the offense has it first and 10. On first down, Wilson. He's got time. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Barry Church. And 